Welcome to Valley Boys TCG, I am CK, and here we got some BT11 gameplay for Digimon. We have the Mamemon deck on the left facing the Sukumon deck on the right. Both of them kind of meme decks. We got Mamemon got a little bit of support in BT11, and Sukumon is a new archetype coming out in BT11. So Mamemon goes first, plays the Izzy, gets to set up the top of his deck. Both are running black base Pagumons. And we have Sukumon already setting up with the Chumon to Sukumon and just dropping the new BT11 Sukumon on the field. And now while neither of these decks are highly competitive, they're both very fun to play. Uh, Mamemon is a passion project of mine, so Mamemon, still no rookie in hand, has to drop the new BT11 Mamemon, but that sets him up nicely because Mamemon's effect, search a top 5, play a tamer, and then you can return them to the top or bottom of the deck you choose. So this is very good for setting up for those Mame plays, those Senban Dokan. So now we got Sukumon pushing up, and Sukumon's got a little more board presence. We evolved to another Sukumon, and Sukumon needs to get some Sukumon bodies in the trash, so King Sukumon's effect is effective. So we go ahead, swing in, die to a Nanimon, which gives Mamemon extra board presence. Uh, Sukumon, we hit the Pagumon effect, sends it to the bottom of the deck since it's an option. And now we trigger the Sukumon effect himself to try to play a Chumon, no Chumon to be found bottom deck and some key cards but at least we get a Sukumon in the trash and we go ahead and swing with the other one and we hit the Izzy and Joe so we won't need the search effects to get two months back out and then Sukumon's just plays kind of like a rush style this build is more of a rush style deck so we're just gonna play the Nanimon for three and oh here we go we go into the Chimera Mon add another piece and here's an interesting bit now we're doing minus 3k to the board so it kills the Nanimon and puts the Mamemon at minus 3k. And then we go into the Metal Edamon here, we search the top three, and we see a BT11 Edamon. Now this is the nice little combo here. Originally it looked like we were going for flooding the board, but we play out the Edamon, which will let us trash another Sukumon from hand. And yep, we trash a new BT11 Sukumon, which will put another minus 3k to the Mamemon, killing the Mamemon. That's minus 3k from the Chimeramon evolution and minus 3k from Edamon on play. So now we have a commanding lead here with the Sukumon deck. And Mamamon's forced to try to rebuild. We see the Iron Fist come down as they build a Thundermon in the back. Uh, that will get rid of the Metal Edamon. And then the Inherited Effect will play out another Chumon from Trash. But we have a lot of tempo here on the Sukumon side. So I think the best thing for Sukumon to do is just keep the pedal to the metal. Uh, they evolve into a Nanimon to go ahead and draw. And then here we see the King Sukumon come down. Uh, no effect to really change anything on the other side. There's no opponent board state. But we can go ahead and probably swing in. Might as well get some damage in. Although we don't need to push it that hard. And we, instead we see the Metal Gururumon come in to use the burst effect to trash the top of security. This is going to be a much safer play because we don't risk losing and we don't risk hitting a Senban Dokan. If we hit that, then Mamamon all of a sudden has two extra bodies on board, potentially. So we see the Catch Mamamon come into play. They're going to go ahead and use its effect to stack the top of the deck right here. And I believe that effect will de-digivolve the Metal Gururumon back down all the way to a Chumon since the Digiburst effect got rid of the middle sources here to get extra Sukumons in the trash. And now Mamamon still has two memory. There's not too much we can do with two memory. But they go ahead and go into the Bancho to draw and then because they stack the top of the deck they get to choose out what they're going to play. Uh, I think the best thing is to go with the new Mamamons. Uh, debating whether or not to use one of the new ones and one of the big Mamemons. But I think the best thing to do is use both of the new Mamemons so that we can further stack the top of the deck and potentially get another Tamer in. So here we see putting the cards to the bottom of the deck to get another search going. So check the, another five. We get Izzy on top. We stack the cards. And then Return to the bottom, and Izzy's on play. We reveal a top three. Again, stack and gain a memory, keeping turn. And so you see the new Mamamon has a lot of great tech and a lot of searching ability for the Mamamon deck. And here we go, swinging in. Bancho gets two checks in. And oof, we just gave the other side an extra body on board with that Nanimon, but it doesn't matter because we see the Death X come down 
which will de-digivolve and clear those two bodies. So all of a sudden, what looked like it was in Sukumon's favor now has switched back to Mamemon's favor. Mamemon has had a great comeback with that turn. As you see, the new Mamemon support, all that searching, choosing whether to put things at the top or bottom of the deck, really helps the fluidity of the deck and letting it do what it wants to do. And now six memory, Sukumon has the ability to try to do something here. And so we're just checking how many Sukumons are in the trash. So we go into the new PT11 Sukumon and then into King Sukumon. Since we have enough in trash, we turn the Death X into a Sukumon now. So here it is, we go for game. We swing in, it would die to the Thundermon, but using the inherited effect of BT11 Sukumon, we choose to elect the opponent's Sukumon on the board, effectively killing Death X. Now we get the second swing, which admittedly I believe is a misplay because now that there's no longer another Sukumon on the board, we shouldn't have that extra security attack. But because it wasn't caught, Edamon swings for game, but it is a great comeback and potential what you can see with King Sukumon. So now we go on to game two. Mamemon's going first again. We see a Chumon this time on Mamemon's side. Both sides are playing Pagu and Chumons. And then we go for the hard first turn Senban Dokkan. Will it pay off? And it does. We get two bodies out. A big Mamemon and a Thundermon come out from the big Senban Dokkan first turn. But we're giving Sukumon nine memory to start the game. So let's see what we can do with nine memory. So we see the one cost Chumon. We go into Nanimon, get another draw. Looks like we're not having the greatest of hand. And so we're going to the Izzy and Joe and then King Sukumon already. Putting the memory to two on the opponent's side. Big Mamamon swings in at that 10k and we hit an Izzy. All black, stealing a memory back. So now Mamamon's at one memory, still has three bodies. So we got the decision to make of what we want to do here. And it looks like they're going to drop one of their own Izzy's to give the three that they're going to start with anyway and stack the deck for the next turn. I think they're setting up for the Boncho play. And then Izzy and Joe will put the memory to five. King Sukumon comes out, drops a Chumon, who will let us Evo into a Sukumon for one. And now, now King Sukumon can go ahead and swing in. We add the Filth Kick, but this is a misplay. So we add it to the Sukumon to try to get the memory, but we neglect to remember that there's a Chumon on field. But we hit a Senban Dokkan. This is where the Mamemon deck can get pretty crazy pretty fast. So you search the top three and you can play out Mamemons of uh, combined play cost of up to 15 and then destroy your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less for each Digimon played. So since they have two on board, uh, we get to destroy both of them. So even King Sukumon's inherited to save himself won't help because they're both being it's not a decoy effect so i believe they both get deleted either way uh, it could be a misplay there but hit the pagumon get another suka in hand and then um mamimon will get to do its search right after this uh, the filth kick would have gained memory but we remember the chumons on board so really that was played for nothing kind of a waste but we do get to search with the sukumon see if we get another chumon to play and looks like nothing off that search but the inherited Chumon lets us play another Chumon. So since we had two of BT11 Chumons underneath, we still get to keep some board state even though we lost two. And now the Mamamon effect to search and we do get a Joe and Izzy. We do get a Tamer off of that. And now we get to stack them. We choose to elect them to the top of the deck. And so it is still Sukumon's turn here. They have one memory trying to decide what to do. Chumons can't really do anything at this point. And they decide to play their another Izzy and Joe. That board state, they would be able to start their turn off with at least seven memory next time. Uh, but Mamemon has a huge board presence here. So unless there's something large that can deal with this board state, it looks like Mamemon's going to go for the kill. And here we go. We got the Boncho that lets us play out two Mamemons. Now that Boncho is evoed over the new BT11 Mamemon, which will give Blocker to one of those played Mamemon. So first we're doing the top five effect of the new Mamemon played, and then we're gonna elect to see which Mamemon is gonna get the blocker effect from the inherited. I believe it's gonna go to the catch. Yep, catch Mamemon will have blocker now. And Boncho's gonna swing in 11k, two checks, but it hits a metal Edamon, so it doesn't get the second check. It dies to that, but there's plenty 
of other Digimon still able to swing, and we can probably go for a game here. So Big Mama Mon swings in. It also hits a Metal Edamon, and now the Thundermons are going in. Clear check. And that's going to make game. Chumon's going to swing for game. So on to game three. You see these decks can get pretty crazy pretty fast. Both of them have some pretty fun swarm effect. And now we have Sukumon going first. Going to stack top of the deck. Looks like we had no rookie, but we're going to stack a rookie to the top with that Izzy. Passing three to Mamemon. Mamemon's going to hatch a Pagumon. Going to a Chumon of their own. Going to a Thundermon. And you see they're, they're both playing kind of Swarm style. We see the Pride Memory Boost here to get a Thundermon on board. Now the build on the Sukumon runs a lot of three cost level fours. Uh, the way I've built this one, it's pretty heavy. And see, we see another version of their own Pride Memory Boost playing the Garamon which we can still use as on-play effect to trash another Sukumon, getting some Sukumon in the trash and gaining two more draws off that Garamon play. So some nice value off that Pride Memory Boost in this deck. We are at two memory, decide to pop the Pride Memory Boost for Mamemon to go into the new Mamemon who will hopefully play a Tamer for us. And there we see a Tamer. So Izzy and Joe gets played out. And now we have to decide whether to put these on the top or bottom. Looks like we're stacking them to the top so that we can go into the Boncho draw for the Evo. I believe we put the Death X on top so that we could put that to hand. And now since they have one on board, we get to play one Ramemon, which again triggers another search. And would you look at that? You want to play that Izzy. We'll guarantee the memory because we see that we're going to have three. You want to stack that yeah, Boncho on top to draw that and then the rookie so that we can draw off the evo so that next turn we can go into a second boncho over the mamemon and play two more bodies as long as they have some on board so here we see a sukumon they pop their pride memory boost the glare makes it a little hard to see we'll try to fix that next time another garamon comes down to trash another sukumon get sukumons in trash get two more draws and this should let us hopefully set up for another sukumon play and we see another pride memory boost which again, basically all level fours and lower can be played off of this. And it accidentally reveals four cards that should have only looked at the top three, which actually hurts the Sukumon deck because now they trash two Metal Edamons instead of just one. As the last two were both Metal Edamons. So here we see, yep, the Boncho comes down and we're gonna get to play two of those. We won't play the Boncho, but we've got two more coming into play. We'll put the blocker on both because we have two Mamemons of uh, inherited effects, one under each Boncho. We get to search the top five, and it looks like we're putting that to the bottom, as none of those really help us for the next turn. We'll Evo here and raising, and let's just swing in with the Bonchos, and dies to the first check again. Hit a Mamemon off of that, thanks to the Pagumon inherited. The other Boncho gets to swing in to attempt two checks as well. And this time it survives the two checks, but we give Nanimon. Now all of a sudden, Sukumon is looking like it's got the wide enough board state to go for game next turn. We got Thundermon swinging in, it dies. We got two blockers so we can prevent death, but because of that wide board state, we have a two cost death X, which completely wipes the board. And on top of that, we won't get that Chumon inherited because it de-digivolves one. So we still get the Pagu inherited, but that is a heavy hit. It looked like Sukumon would have a chance if they would have just evolve into a Sukumon, get two checks in. They would have had a chance to come back, but now we're seeing the complete role of the Mamemon deck. When it swarms, it swarms hard. But here's a funny little play that we realized with the Sukumon. So you drop the Sukumon, and then we went into King Sukumon to turn Death X into a Sukumon. Now Death X changes his name and DP and color, but they do not lose their effect when they turn to a Sukumon. So end of turn effect would delete the King Sukumon, but the inherited Sukumon effect lets me delete the other Sukumon on board, effectively making Death X delete itself. So that is a very nutty combo to keep in mind for those poop deck players. And then Boncho swings in, it hits a filth kick, which will let the Chumon play out. 
uh, but this is pretty much over. The Mamemon Swarm just overwhelmed the Sukumon deck. So Mamemon will swing for game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for joining us on Valley Boys TCG.